Hello, everybody! Welcome to probably one of my most favorite, like, platforming franchises from the early PS2 era. From an era that's long since passed, but never forgotten. Which I would definitely not mind if they ever made another big revival like what Ratchet and Clank and Crash Bandicoot did, but what am I... It's also by Naughty Dog, <laughs> just saying. Anyway, <laughs> that's sad. welcome. Oh, hello, you. You're not Crash Bandicoot. Get him out. Hey, ow! Oh. He's made from the same people, though. Yep. Oh, yeah. Good old Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. Before they made walking simulators. Uh, yeah. Nothing hey, against Jack realism. And Jack is Dexter. I'm Dexter. He's Jack. He's with me. Don't mind, don't mind the fact that he can't speak. He, uh, he's just following the protocol of being a new protagonist. So, welcome to Jack and Dexter, the precursor legacy. Yes, with James's help, possibly, we plan on doing the Jack series. So let's just get right to it. I'll help however much I, I can, it's just that I actually haven't beaten any of the Jack games yet. My father, and my also, unfortunately, no subtitles until the second and third games. Yeah. Oh, well. well, real quick, is there a Jack game you've came close to beating? That litter our planet? Jack 3. How did they harness mm -hmm. eco Story time. life energy of the world? What was their purpose? Mm. And why did they vanish? No. I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. Huh? It'll make the sense in context, trust rocks, me. But the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Well, of course the rock didn't recall. He was too busy filming it's that a rock. Jumanji movie. In my body tells me oh, I thought you were about to say, of course it didn't recall. It's a devil damn rock. Of a young boy. No, that, not that rock. <laughs> anyway, Jack. Who the? And Daxter. And Daxter. And Daxter. And That's Daxter? Daxter. Yep. Yes. And Would you believe there was once upon a time when he was not a furry, furry little freak? Anyway, I'm only the master of hmm. Go. But the either way, they were and yeah, pay no mind to this, how the graphics the graphics looked again. This was like early PS1 um, so graphical. PS2, PS2, my bad. Still, sorry. Say, I tend to I'll mix the two say, up. I'll still say this game was very actually very technically advanced for its time. With like very low, very I'm little so loading idiots. screens, uh, almost, an, almost an open Jack, world with day and night cycles. Stuff told us not to come here. Let's check well, we're here anyway, so. Um, okay, so to give, hope you so like to give the aesthetic because we're gonna be stuck here for a little while. Actually, yeah. no, we're so not. So to give some back, Wait. so to give some backstory because we talked over. The so yeah, game Jack game. and Dexter are here just playing hooky for whatever reason, and whoa, mm -hmm. the fish oh. people. It's the lead singer of a rock band that I forgot hits Okay, name. I can tell just from this guy's face that this is definitely Naughty Dog. Yeah. Deal harshly with anybody. I forget the name of the guy. I forget the name of the band he was from. Also, if I'm not mistaken, the guy's actually voiced by a uh, rock star. Or yes, like but that. I don't know what the I don't I know what the band name. was. Oh boy, someone's on to us. What are we doing they, here anyway? They may be mooks, but they're certainly not stupid. the creeps. Yeah. Out. Whoop. Just a fun time. Fun what? times all around, and um. Oh, stupid precursor junk. I swear, those little drums that were playing just—I know it's Night Dog, but those little drums just remind me so much of Crash. Dog? That Duke. Oh, you'll hear it. Well, in all fairness, it's like it's like the it's like the sound direction and the music was done by the same people. Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Also, this is more mature like game because they say crap. And power cells as much as the next I think that's the only time I actually heard them say crap. Well, in this wow. game, anyway. How did you do that? Yeah. Try. Oh, hello yes, there. Uh, oh. We're in trouble. Uh oh, it's the, it's the big, big guy. What do we? How do we take out the big, big guy? We just throw the fucking rock Ball. at it. Ah. Oh. Well. well, we done goofed. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What? There we go. That's the face huh. we're familiar with. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listen. Fun fact that I learned. What? You're kind of crazy. Whoop. <laughs> so what are we saying about fun fact? Damn. Down. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Take it easy on the temper tantrum nope. next time. Fun fact: He's voiced by a, he's voiced by one of the one of the minor major characters in Fist of the North Star in the Japanese dub. Really? Hmm. Yes. What do in Have you ever watched Fist of the North Star, James? I've heard about it, but never really watched any of the episodes. Same. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
The two of you went mucking around. This is the only place uh, to this is Samos. The green deepest age and uh, Dexter. You finally took a much needed Oh look, it's one of the enemies from Crash Bandicoot. The oh yeah, the flower. Uh, the bird. Black old man! Yep. Are you gonna keep yapping? Or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping. Also, as you can see, they really did improve the on the, the change animations the from Crash. Besides, in some ways, yeah. I, help you if I, wanted to. What? I mean, I'm not sure if that's saying too much, because even to this day, the animations of Crash and Nier are pretty good, but yeah, this one's definitely of a higher quality. Form. Although, is it just me, or are these a little faster? Because I remember these animations the being a little slower. Far, far to the north. Probably because I was recording Nobody on an actual good frame rate. Now, right there, I love that. That big, there, that big, like, panoramic shot they just showed, that's all the areas. Like, you can go to all those places. You can see that limb, you can see that... The the city, like, that's why I love about this game is like every, almost everywhere you can see, you can see it everywhere from every which like you get that. It's like trying to say. it's like Breath of the Wall before Breath of the Wall was a thing. But you could fly over oh, hey, Hello. Somehow his daughter happened to be working on such Hence a the green hair. Pro probably uh adopted. Also Dash has got a bit of a crush on the girl. Of course. But where are a boy and a half going and to get a half? half <laughs> I forgot about that. Most of them have a power cell to stash away somewhere. Jack, 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 and Jack, Jack. Even Jack. Jack. They aren't willing to just no, thank away, you. I'm not going to. So this, so this is what started the whole thing of, oh, if you give me this, I'll give you that, that we saw parodied in Crash Twin Sanity. Yeah, Naughty Dog was pretty bad about that. Brave adventurer. Especially with you. Especially with this game. Village without training. Before you do anything else, okay. you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. All right. Uh, we won't Maybe say old timer. Gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in. All right. <laughs> before I turn you both into ferns. Well, let's go. Yeah, well, you heard Whee! the old man. Let's uh, get some training in before he turns us into ferns. Yeah. Whee! So, with that said, welcome to. I used to say, okay, Mario 64 may have felt a little more like, it may have felt a little more like precise, precise with its controls, which I still like Mario 64 for, but this is still honestly one of my favorite like 3D platformers to just run around and jump in. It is very fluid, I'll give it that much. I can still get what I got to is that Jack runs like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly These Cadbury right. eggs are our currency in this world. Yep. So don't get you don't get don't get too used to them because by the later games they start getting rare as fuck. Yeah, so rare that you find one in freaking Uncharted. Shocker. <laughs> I think either that or a power cell. Speaking of power cells, these are basically your power stars. Get it? Uh, oh, also to answer our question from earlier, the uh, voice actor for Gaul, the villain who's totally not a, who's totally not a plot twist since we, this game is over 15 years old now, maybe even 20. God, has it been 20 years? Uh, it'll be 20 yep. years in about, um, five, four or five years. Jesus. Anyway, and that's just an autosave feature. Uh, he was voiced by D. Snyder, the lead singer of Twisted Sister, band that has wow. made such great songs as, the band who has played such great songs as We're Not Gonna Take It. Lovely. Interesting. And, uh, We're Not Gonna Take It, because that's, they're kind of a one-hit wonder band for me, technically, but, eh. Oh, well, at least, at least nice. that's just their biggest one. Yeah. Well, at the very least, he found something to do outside of, outside of that. These are the not Jinjos, not eight red coins. Find all seven, get a power. Power star, power orb. Power <laughs> cell. <laughs> there you go. Now you're getting it. And get used to that dance, because they do it after every single one. Yeah, it's essentially their victory. It's their it's their victory dance. Which thankfully, unlike Mario, they have a ton of them. Which I look forward. Which I look forward in Jack Two, what they do to make fun of that. Oh yeah, that I remember that. Anyway, this is uh the big this is the big game changer of this game compared to the other ones. Eco. I kind of miss that Jack Two and Jack Three kind of forget about this for a while. But in Jack One, you can channel various forms of Eco to do special effects. Blue Eco. Uh, Allows you to move fast, have like a magnet ability, and uh, power up machinery. Yep. And green eco is basically your health. You can store up to 50 points of health so that if you were to take damage once, you would automatically get your third health point back. Other than that, you can't increase it. Yeah, which anyway, is a, which talking is, a lot. <laughs> which is a kind of a damn shame considering that, well, 
Jack doesn't really have that much health to, to go with, but thankfully, to mitigate that, there's no life system here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is basically a big unlockable vent. Uh, hi, your experience with this game series while I get my long use it for the maximum time. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm really I can't say I'm really too versed in the Jack series. In fact, most of my Jack experience actually came from a few years ago. I saw my dad when I went to go visit him. He was playing the first game on his PS2, and I saw him play a little bit of the opening, and that was about it. Okay, uh, so this will mostly be a new experience for you, or have you seen this gameplay before? Well, it's like, I get the basic gist of it, like, I might be unaware of some of the details, like, mainly, like, details of the lore, but I imagine going through this is probably going to solve all that. Okay. Like, aside from that, the only other glimpse I have of the franchise is, and I feel ashamed saying this, but from what little I remember seeing of your Jack 2 playthrough. It's fine. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do Jack 3 eventually. That, uh, and that or, for better or worse, the PlayStation Move Heroes game. Yeah, which remind, which which was cool, because I'm like, yay, they didn't forget about them. But then Bags, I'm like, oh, they didn't forget about them. <laughs> yeah. And they decided to not forget about them while using a very dated Wii knockoff. Uh, yeah, that was... Well, there's only Sony Smash Brothers. True. Which really only helped out so much. Ow. See, like right there, I should have took damage, but since I had 50 health points stored up, I was able to uh, heal myself. And, and enemies typically will drop them. Uh, other than that, I would say that, uh... Oh, yes, go ahead. Um, if you don't have any of that green ego stored up, how many hits can you take before you die? Three. Three. Okay. And you die. Um, so anyway, um, that was activate the portal with a dash jump, triangles for first person shooting, first person shooting for later, teleport and head on home. Too much up. Um, so while we're talking about this, Doop. Dax, oh! Doop! So, sorry. Good training. So basically, uh, I'm not going to be going for 100% completion. I could go for it, but, and no point. Well, well he's got the moves. You, on the other hand, have, well... The this is the you pretty much have because... Adventure. Because let's yeah. be fair, someone has to make up for Jack's like thereof. Adventuring. Yeah, yeah that's true. Why don't you make yourself useful? My darn and here are some quests we can do for power Actually, I will... Head out to the far yeah. side of the I will ask, because I am kind of curious. Before Jack 2 kind of answered it for us, how did you personally imagine Jack sounding? No. Well, whenever you fall down oh, a great height... Oh, hang on. Get out of here. Sorry! <laughs> so, okay, okay, well, we're leaving, we're leaving, sheesh! Well, whenever, well, whenever you fall down from a great height, you hear Jack's voice going... Ah. And I thought that was pretty much it. Awesome! Jack, okay. Hey, baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grav Zoomer? A anti -graph. Rule number one. I don't date animals. That's not a bad rule to have. Uh, Princess Elise could learn from you. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> that. Thank you, Jack. Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Yeah. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. Hmm. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. Okay. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Okay, so go to the jungle. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. And uh, what was I saying? And uh, not to mention, whenever you take damage, sometimes you'll hear Jack go, ooch! So he has a voice, just... Kind of an odd one, looking back on it. In the same sense that Link has a voice. Yeah, and actually, weird as this is going to sound, at first, for some reason, I thought Jack's voice, Jack here was voiced by freaking uh, Dan Green. Yeah. Like, I can't be the only one that hears it with some of his grunts. I'll have to look into it to see, like, who voiced him actually in this game. I don't know. Um, I do know as far as the sequels go, um, Mike Irwin, his voice. He also does the voice of Speedy in Teen Titans. Oh, interesting. There's the mayor. Hello, mayor. You're, total, you're totally a fair, fair um, figure in society. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm only an elected official, Jack. I can't make these decisions by myself. By myself. Jack, answer me! Which I just realized with Jack, it makes sense. <laughs> he, can't, he can't talk back. Actually, he even has a similar body shape to the Howling Town Mayor. 
It does. You a nice port stoutly guy with a big hat. I wonder if that was the if that was the inspiration they were going for. Oh, and, and another Also thing. he's asking us so he's asking us to fix it he's asking us to do his dirty work for him, get the power working. And also donate ninety dollars to his reelection campaign. Or in this case, dollars converts to uh precursor awards. Yeah, for the most part we're gonna be giving ninety precursor orbs, like that's their like that's usually the exchange rate. Uh, I guess I'll say, like, this game actually had quite a... Uh, for hype's sake, this game actually had quite the little, like, cast of voice actors employed for it. Well, Not to mention, this is, like, the most most work I've seen I've seen put into, like, NPCs you only see, like, once or twice. Like, this, is, like, this guy, who is apparently Jack's uncle, who's very much like Sora's mother and never talked about a game, never talked about again after this game, he is played by Jack Carter. Interesting. By who, Carter? Jack Carter. Carter. A, sort of a, a minor reminder on who he is. He was anyway, Erwin Linker from King of the Hill. Enough to know your he was Wilbur J. Cobb from Ninety Rain Street Rocks. Holes. So mm. he get underway. Let's see what else. I would offer you a power set in return. Oh, I do, okay. I do, know, I, that. I do know that Jack's uncle had a little more relevance in like the instruction booklet or whatever that this game had, but other than that, not much, which is kind of weird because this, they taught him... They, they tout him out to be like, a, like an explorer sort of figure. You think he'd have a little more presence. He was on Duckman, as Checky Forst or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find things that you would know him from. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm trying to find it. Um, Maybe oh yeah, pay no mind to the fact that this game. Mm -hmm. He was a the, the Jack Carter was an old actor from like the 70s. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, guess that would explain the tone he has. Oh yeah, and then there's freaking hey. Bill and Ted. Little furry dude. Yep. Oh. I thought for a moment you were my muse. That name. Yeah, By the way, nice wordplay there, guy. Haven't you ever seen a muse before? <laughs> they call this is, this is David Herman. David Herman. Who's he voice? I'll look it up in a second. Oh, but yeah, ba basically what they call a muse is like an actual animal. It's like, As a matter of fact, <laughs> considering his profession, that's actually very clever. Yeah, I'll say uh, David Herman is Mr. Fraun from Bob's Burgers. He is on, he currently is acting on that show OKKO OK Let's right Be Heroes. Now, oh, interesting. He is, which that's he is, uh, which I'm not gonna lie. That's one of the island. I was about to say I'm not gonna lie. That show, the OK right. Let's Be Heroes, that is well, another one of those shows where I swear it minute. looks stupid, but everyone we insists it's brilliant. Going back to I, Misty Island. He was a uh, Scruffy from uh, Futurama. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see what else. He uh, he did it. He did re. He, he was. Oh, <laughs> this is funny enough for J for Next. James and I. Uh, uh, apparent apparently uh, the guy who voices the sculpt to hear voices freaking Errol from Jack Two and Three. Huh, interesting. Well, hey, so he's up in the world. Yep. You know, yesterday and now we're now we have the bird watcher. Not the mother fluff Oh no! By the way, pay, by the way, get used get used to this, ladies and gentlemen. This, this entire part is just dedicated to talking to the townsfolk, getting hints from them on how to progress in this this zone. And then trust me, there'll be plenty of exploring to go. This is not going to be a very long game. I'm, there's only like seventy of these things we need to go for. That's fair. Uh, this and this is a, apparently her name is Tweedledove Perch. And she is voiced by Lori. <laughs> and she's voiced by Lori Frazier, who was in a 2002 Jetsons short called *The Best Son*. She voiced Jane Jetson. Oh, interesting. Uh, and I, that's I do remember that show, and I do. Yeah, I remember that show, and I know Jeff Bergman was the voice of both um, George and Elroy in it. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that. Look okay, at this guy. Is that the last one? On to this ouch. Ooh, oh yeah, just you, just you wait till we meet the fishermen. Oh, that's gonna be a fun time. Oh, it's you. And this oh, is just resting my time. Uh, Zeb the farmer, I've been trying to voiced by uh, William slash Bill Minkin. Some strange creatures tried to steal And guess what, James? Think it could help an old what? Man trying to get this guy went on to voice Crew. Oh my god. Yeah, that fact fuck. Yep. Wow. Was two so, again? Uh, it kind of bleeped out for a second. Uh, it, it, it's a character you'll see in two and three. It's very interesting that they have okay. all this stuff. Oh, hey, it, just, it, it goes oh, to show. No. It, it's nice to see that these guys actually go on to do the other games. It's just. What? I would never that's thought kind of, That's kind of sad where, where you get. 
yeah, one guy who voices probably the scrawniest looking character I've seen to probably the fattest fuck I've ever seen in a video game. Right, but, it, but in the yes, same case, but this, yeah, so it, it's kind of, it, it's rather. almost, it, it's almost as annoying as the, uh, freaking, it's almost as annoying as that one part in Twilight Princess in the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah, the goat, the, guy the, the goat hurting. Yeah, hurting, that was it, but, I mean, I'll say that but in you terms of the sculptor the goats Twilight and, Princess. yeah, in terms of the sculptor and this guy, I do like that, it's like, they went from going, voicing such small time characters to, like, when you see the amount of evolving those two characters have in the series after this, I'm like, dang. <laughs> oh, and then no, there. Wrong way. Is that all? By the way, I like that little. No, yeah, I like he, the he little was rolling hey, gesture that he does. The I'm fine. Yeah, there's still one more. Curse, sorry. What were you saying there then? I was just saying that. I I kind of like that little rolling jump gesture you do. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, I love this. The move, the movement options in this game are pretty nice. I like the. I like doing the um, the face plant jump up ability because I don't know what else to call it. The roll jump is always nice. Yeah, it honestly makes up for how how um, how, how um, slow Jack moves normally. Oh yeah. No. 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 Back, Back up, in there. Back, Back up, partner. There you go. There, there you go. All five of them. That lazy farmer owes us a power Ooh. cell. Let's go talk to On him. it. Oh, sometimes you have to, like, uh, walk away and then re-enter the trigger. Damn it, Dexter. That's oh, weird. well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power shell for your trouble. And back Ooh. to and back to the obscure, lonesome realms I come from. <laughs> yeah. You know, it must, awesome. be rather awkward. it must be rather awkward to keep that thing in his pocket. It's like, how yeah, do you sit comfortably? Are... I don't get it. Also, okay, but I will at least... Yes, I... I was about to say, them holding all the precursor orbs for themselves, isn't that basically the equivalent of all the pianos hoarding all the shine sprites? And I was about well, to say that. kind oh. of, except in this case, it's not like they're trying to... They're not some part of one big entity, no. It's like, it's just, it's just a simple power source. Right, I was gonna say, I will get, I will, I was actually just about to touch upon that, but that, so good timing, is that, no, this is different. These things are like ancient technology that they don't care nor like really use except for maybe small power sources here and there. They use Blue Eco for their energy mostly, but so it's not like a, oh, you desperately need this, like, or you desperately need this to save us. This is more like, oh, here, yeah, this is something I think it's valuable. Pretty much. But yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. with that said, um, they'll be, it'll be, it'll get a little easier to talk over what's happening in the later parts. So join us next time as we're going to be exploring more of this first, uh, "Quote unquote hub area of the game and proceed forward into the next area with any luck." Yep. Take till, till next time, everybody. Pun.